我喝。Turn your heart on Bonnaroo. <laughs> 2015 Bonnaroo, we're here. Um, it's, you know, I've been to some festivals before. I went to like um, Homestead Hollow in Springville. I've been to the um, Crate Metal Festival in Ardmore. Uh, even back, way back in the day, I went to the uh, Love Us Festival in Arab, Alabama with my aunt. <laughs> but I have never been to a festival that compares to this. Speaking of, it's, it's so amazing, like the smells in like, you, you can smell the Lord, and you can smell beyond the Lord. It's really amazing. You, everybody always says it's just like decadence, and all it is is just drugs and parties and dance music. But um, it, there's so much more here. It, it's just so. I mean, it's it, it's beyond compare. But one of the things I swear, like smells. You ever get those memory smells? You know, we'll smell something, it'll just zoom, take you right back to that that point in time. Well. Oh my goodness, it was like a fucking drum corps that just went by. <laughs> it's weird, it had a flag. Anyway, um, well, I've been getting this memory smell the whole time I'm here. It's like, uh, it, it's giving me the craving to, for burn, uh, like roasted corn. Um, it, it and that sent me right back to the Love Us Festival in Arab, Alabama when the Moose Lodge would roast corn back in like 1980 or something like that. But anyway, fine, I kept talking about roasted corn, roasted corn, finally, I was pulling me aside and said, Jamie, that's not, that's not roasted corn you're smelling. I was like, well, well, what is it? He was like, it's drugs. I said, I, I don't, I, you know, I, just, I went speechless <laughs> for once. Oh my God, yeah, having the time of my life. You know, so smells, that's what I've been focusing on. You know, I like to try, I'm trying to get in touch with all the senses. Of course, I've done the sense of taste. <laughs> that's why I had to go on the, well, the Jesus Eat diet. But anyway, I, I'm, I'm focusing on different sensations. And there for a while, it was touch, but I didn't like the way a lot of things felt. So I quit doing that one for a while. But oh, now I've been focusing on smells. And as soon as I got here, the smells just hit me right in the face. I mean, you wouldn't believe. Some good, some bad. Anyway, like incense, for example. I love incense. And I, find, I learned out about this. It's called Noc Chapa. And I bought some while I was inside the Bonnaroo, and I, it smells so good, and I, I want it so near me. I, I even sometimes pretend like I'm smoking, even though I don't really smoke. I put it in my mouth like Cruella de Vil. I'm just like, like on those long stems, and <laughs> it's silly. I, I'm just, but I love the way it smells. Anyway, people look at me funny sometimes, but anyway, um, it's propped up. Okay. All right, and um, so anyway, the smells are just fantastic here, and they're just they're just so overwhelming, and they were horrible, horrible the first night in those porta potties. That was my first duty was to put stickers up in there, and like literally, they it stunk so bad in there they were just peeling and bubbling off the walls. Well, then we found out then there was a service that started coming in that like started cleaning them the next day, and they're just tearing them off, and so it's like my 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 mission is futile, and I feel you know kind of worthless here. So Thomas has said that I can stand out there for a little while and hand them out to people as they're going in because everybody loves to go by and like slap you high five and say Monterey and stuff like that and so and I figured you could just give them a like I say how oh, we get Monterey in here you know and there's a sticker and maybe they'll keep it maybe they won't but it's better than the porta potties and it smells a little bit better too All right, I'm about to go start. Thomas had these stickers made, and they're like real technologically digital. And like, there's this little, see this little crazy looking little thing in the corner. It's called a QR code. And what you can do is you can like put a little device on your telephone, like an application down on your smartphone, and you can scan it, and it actually will take you to videos of the Rotisserie Preacher Project. It's incredible. <laughs> Stickers. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? Chain mail? Ho hold on, y'all. Come here right. for a second. I want to look in this this booth. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at, look at that necklace. This is a chain, a chain mail jewelry. Ooh, I like that hat right there. That, that head piece. That, little, that looks like something Donna Summer would wear. 
But we gotta get back to work. Thanks, y'all. Bye bye. Have some stickers. Thanks, man. Hey, bottle radius. <laughs> hey, y'all having a good room? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, hey, I got some stickers for the Rotisserie Preacher Project. It's my nephew's, and he did it. Um, well, actually, it was my grandfather. It was my grandfather, Seth Carroll, who did it, and uh, it was back in the long time ago, back in the seventies. Would you like a sticker? Um, some of I know who doesn't like a sticker. Okay. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Anyway, um, so, uh, anyway, he was my grandfather, and he had a message of hope and love. Okay, I hope y'all have a great, uh, ball ready. There might be some ugly words on there, but my nephew made those, so. It's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. All right, bye. All right. <laughs> Where y'all from? All right, bye-bye. Well, that was my first round of t uh, sticker giveaways, and it worked out pretty successful. Everybody here is really, uh, I mean, everybody's super, super receptive. Everybody that I handed the sticker to um, took it and didn't just throw it on the ground. And so we figured that's going to be far better of, um, than the, um, the porta potty campaign. All right, I decided to go ahead and put up just a few more stickers. Um, you know, just to have just, these are some of the ones that were left over. Here's a poster that looks like a, you know, an old, poster of my grandfather Seth Carroll, one of his foot washing Baptist tours, and there's a cross of the Revival Band, and they, they, these little stickers right here, these are the ones that look like, um, that, that I had a lot of these left over. Uh, hold on, uh, just a minute, somebody's in here. Somebody's trying to get in. But anyway, I had a lot of these left over, so I just put, I decided to stick those up at the end, because I didn't want to hand those out necessarily, because they're just, you know, they're like little. Hold, hold on, I'm, I'm almost finished. Anyway, um, so I handed out most of all the other ones, so this is just kind of like my last, a little last dish effort of sticking up here in the porta potty. See how long it lasts before the cleanup crew comes and gets them. <laughs> but anyway, it's been fun. But I'm, okay, okay, I'm coming. Okay, I better go.